Well, happy Friday. Well, make it a great Friday. I've got a PHA workout ready for you. I'm going to just demonstrate a few things. Um, I'll talk a little slower, let everybody try to get online um, so they can get a part of this. I do want you to right now go grab a few things. We talked about a long band. We talked about medium to light weight. I will also want you to grab either a chair. We're not going to use the chair a lot. It's only to sit on. Um, and, and then maybe a small stool. So you'll see I also have, like I brought, so you can use a small stool if you want. You don't have to use this. You can use just the floor when we get to that part. I also am going to use a spry band only because I really need to work a little harder today. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it, okay? You can do a small ball um, or a pillow, maybe a small pillow. I make a neck roll. You can also use this later on when we do some core work and using it to give your head and your neck a little support. So I love those. The PHA workout stands for peripheral heart action. And what, I, what that does is I do compound movements. So I'm gonna do some legs with, with the upper body anyway. But the way that this workout is typically designed is to take your heart rate up bring it back down, so I do, I do a lower body, a core, and then an upper body. I like to mix it up so I put a lot of different things together, so I do a lot of compound moves. I try to get the most out of these workouts, um, you know, a little more bang for our buck, right? We don't have a lot of time, which, uh, so I'm going to get started. Uh, let's see, I'm going to start off the first three exercises. I wanted to show you this too, so you're ready. I used a row, I used a row. Now, I locked the door to make sure it won't open on me. But what I did was you can take a belt or I used a rope and just put a big knot in it so that I can loop my big band through it. If you don't have a band with handles and you have a flat band, that's okay too. All of that's going to work. All right, so what I'll do is I'm going to put this in the door here. And I'm going to shut it, make sure it closes, and then I'm just going to dead look, bolt mine because the last thing I want to do is have that door open up on me. So we're going to start off, the first exercise, there's three, we're going to start off with a back row. On the back row, it's important that when you start off, you have tension from the beginning all the way to the end of the movement. So I'm going to start off here, pulling back and squatting and pull back. From there, you're going to take your, your band and you can keep it doubled or you can take it single. I single it, bring this back here, and then I'll step backwards and we're going to step out, turn, step out, turn. So I'll demonstrate a little bit more. I'm going to have to move the camera so that you can see me from the front view so you don't have to look at me from my back view the whole time. Um, I just wanted to explain a couple of those with you. Uh, when you do this, once you learn the workout, it's designed to not do the exercise so fast because the quality of the move is more important, but it's important to move from one to the next if you can. If you need a break, you take a break. You know how I like that RPE scale, the rate of perceived exertion. Step out of your comfort zone. If you feel something where you're not supposed to, then stop, don't do it. I want you to uh, contact me and I'll give you an alternative exercise. But all of these exercises um, are, can be for all levels because with the using a band, you can make that exercise easier or harder by controlling the resistance of the band, okay? Um, I'm ready to start. Let's just, um, since I got you right here, we're just going to start with a little d -rom. Keep moving your legs. I'm going to pick my knees up. Just getting a little blood here. Nice. So I hope you guys are all ready for the holidays, by the way. Happy Passover this week. And then Happy Easter to everyone. Happy Good Friday. We're going to make it a great Friday. So I'm still nursing this neck thing. Killing me. Small. Now, I'm not just big kicks yet. These are still tiny, just given a nice stretch in my little hamstrings and through my glutes. Four. Good. 
Good, heels down. Oopsie. Let's take it right here. I'm not doing anything fancy. I just want to get ready to warm up. You know how I like to do. Good, now just kick your legs straight back. Keep your knees behind so you're pulling back this way, back. Opening up those quads. We're gonna step back, step back. So it's not gonna be like a hit workout today. Although, like I said, I am gonna try to keep that heart rate up. Squeeze back, shake those legs out. Good, arms in and out. Open up your back, open your chest. Primarily most of the moves, I'm gonna try to stay with pull. I have had to put a couple push in there because we're limited on what we have in our home for, uh, you know, weights, machines. And I don't like, I don't need to use a lot of machines anyway. Bring this back. I like to open up that chest because you guys are probably a little sitting like this because you don't pay attention, right? Roll around. Beautiful. Beautiful. Arms in and out. So, I'm going to finish this up. Make sure you have your band all secured. Lock the door. Preferably you do it on a door where you can really focus on keeping that locked in. I used a robe, but like I said, you can use a belt um, or anything like that. And you can also tie a little knot in your band if you can't find a belt and put it on the outside and just, just to make sure that that door doesn't open. All right. I'm going to change the view and we're going to get started. So you need either a couple of paper plates for the very end part, or you can also use, uh, I'm using today two small washcloths when I get to the, the last segment. Uh, on the last segment, we're going to be doing leg curls. So you can use paper plates under your heels. I just got a couple of washcloths and put them down because I'm going to be using the weight on my heels. So you want something that you can slide on. If you're on carpet, you'll probably need the paper plate. Okay, other than that, I think we're about ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and switch this. Are you ready? All right. So I'm going to move the phone, my camera here. Let's make sure. Hey, don't mind my mess over on my table. I've been uh, sewing. I've made 12 masks for the kids and for my grandkids and family. And I'm still sewing. I think that's probably aggravating my neck too. All right, so are you ready? I'm gonna grab the weight. Now the, the bands, the other thing is to make sure that your bands are even. You don't have one band shorter than the other. All righty. Probably should have explained that in the beginning. So I'm going to step back. Ideally, I want to be able to bring this weight all the way here. So I'm going to squat down. We're going to do 15. Then we're going to go right into rotations. Is everybody ready with me? Sit back. Don't buckle in. Don't fall out. Sit back like you're on a chair. Lean back. Keep your chest upright. And don't lean over. Here we go. And go. Now, set to 15 today. As you come up. Squeeze those thighs, butt tight, shoulder blades back. Five more. We're doing 15, four, three, one. Good. Go to the single. I'm going to interlace mine. You don't have to. I'm gonna interlace it, bring it into one. I'm gonna move my chair over here because that'll be my last exercise. Start here, legs apart, watch. Step out, toe on an angle, pivot the forward foot, turn. Step out, turn. Two. So I'm trying to move from my core and I'm not pulling so much with my arms. They're locked in. So I'm thinking about this move. My knees track my toe. Push. Now I'm about waist level. 
you can play around when you do these again, pushing it down. Now watch. Let's pull it up. Let. Remember, the movement is from your core. I'm going to take it halfway down, waist level. Nice, come on. Want to work those legs a little more? Then bend your knees. But remember, this foot pivots. So that knee tracks. I'm going to do two more. Last. And last one over here. Good. I'm going to set that down. Grab your chair. Grab your chair and maybe your small ball. I'm going to bring that here. Now, your back is in a C position. I'm going to put this between my knees and kind of tilt forward this way. You can keep your arms down. Now, your arms are like you're carrying grocery bags. You're on from the side view. It looks like this. Let's go. Now I've got a medium weight. Again, if you can, and you you're advanced, maybe go a little heavier. I'm doing 15s. You don't have to do 15 if you want to go a little heavier. And today's that day where you want to do a little more strength. Pick that weight up and maybe do 10, 10 to 12 instead of 15. All right, so talk. If you want, you can lift the legs. But remember, I don't feel this in my lower back. My hips are curved forward. My abs are nice and tight. I'm hugging that little towel between my knees. I'm gonna do five more. Now we're gonna go back to the beginning, two. And hold it, squeeze, and set it down. So you should never, ever feel that in your lower back. Go back to your squat with your row. Get ready. I apologize that uh, maybe I need two cameras. Shit. One for the front, one for the back. Although, that's scary thought for me. All right, here I go. Ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Pull back. Squat, pull back. Beautiful, 10. Don't look down. When you look down, you tend to lean forward. And that is harder on that lower back. So make sure you kegel. Two more. And beautiful. Hey, here we go. Back to your rotation. All I do is feed that through the other side like that. All right, here we go. Stand back and begin. So when I come down, I'm really focused on that core. Eight, eight, here's the middle. Nine, nine, ten. Remember what we talked about, form and technique are so much more important when it comes to the movement of this exercise. When it comes to the, if you're still on your weight loss journey or any journey, nutrition, oh my God, so important. One more. Beautiful. Set it down. Go to your chair. Belly button nice and tight. Tuck it up underneath. So your back is in that C position. My elbows are in. I can lift. I'm going to relax my hips and thighs. By adding a little 
isometric with this. As I come up and I squeeze that arm, I isometrically flex, I'm gonna work that muscle twice as hard. I always like to focus here, and when I come back, I'll even think about tricep. Why not? I know it's not a push day, but what the heck? Uh. If you need to put your feet down, put your feet down. Let's go. 13. Come on, two more. 14 and 15. Hey, that's round two. We've got one more round. Go back to the squat. Squat with a back row. I put my heart trainer on today so that I can see where I'm at. I hope you have yours on. And if you're interested in getting one, let me know because I give them to you at my cost. Then that way, what's beautiful about going through me is not only do you get it at a great price, but all your workouts, I get to look at and see just how much effort you put into each exercise, each class, each movement, right? So it's not just about moving, it's about, hey, how much effort am I putting into this, right? Okay, so you know I have no idea what number I'm on. So I'm just gonna count down from, let's say, seven. So maybe it's a little bit more. That's okay, it's our third set. Squeeze those thighs. Squeeze your back, your shoulder blades are tight. And one more. Beautiful, hey, here we go. See how I cross this in here like that? Bring it back. Get it ready. Now, if you don't have your band by now, let me know because I think there are still some, I have still some tubing left to give you. And I'm in Yorkville, but the club is in Oswego. So if you're not close to those, either one of those places, let me know. And then let's try and figure something out. Because, I don't know about you, but we can find some makeshift things at home, right? But if we have a band, and they're easy, and you'll be able to use it forever, come on. Remember, I'm not pulling with my arms, moving from that core. Don't forget about that pivot. Turn out. Belly in. Keep going. Hey, why be any different? If you're usually taking my class on Friday, you know I never know. I'm kind of close to the number, but that's okay. I think you still love me. Two more. Well, last one, and nice. Hey, last set of biceps. And then we're going to our next group. Belly button in, relax that neck. Look, I'm curved. So I'm here, but not here. See, there's a difference. Lift, tuck, hold, ready, let's go. Flex, tricep, front of the arm. Good, now you can lift. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, okay, so grab a small drink. This is where you're gonna either need your chair or you can use the small bench. You're gonna need one weight. On this one, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna step out, I'll wait for you to get situated. So, it's gonna be a deadlift. I'm gonna lean over. 
I'm going to do a back row, front bicep curl. Then watch this. I'm going to squeeze that butt cheek and go into my hammer curl. So I got two different biceps in there. Are you ready? Belly tight. Make sure that that chair is not going to move on you. I'm going to push it up against my couch here. Ready? Let's go. Back row. Pull. Lift. Hammer. Bend over. Now your back is flat here. Two. Two. As I come up into that deadlift, I really want to focus on squeezing right here. Three. I turn my pinky back. This weight's a little light for a back row for me. So to make it harder, I'm going to turn that back like that. Try to keep that forward leg straight as you can without locking it. Seven. Up. Seven. Nice job. Back row, eight, bicep, hammer, Whew. belly button nice and tight, keep it drawn down, nine, Whew. ten, lift, squeeze, up, 11, bicep, last one, we're only doing 12 on here, the reason is because you're bent over and it can be a lot of lower back and 12, beautiful, so you should have felt that in that cheek, now let's switch arms and switch leg, so leg comes back, hey by the way, don't stack your legs, don't put one in front of each other, this leg should be out. This leg is behind my hip. Ready, and down. Back row, one. Hammer, oopsie, bicep, hammer. <laughs> Two, up. Squeeze. Bicep. Is your back flat? Do you feel that right here? Your belly button's in. Here's your back move. Squeeze that back. Front of the arm. Another bicep arm. Let's go. Eight. Up. Now this could be nine, but who cares? If we do an extra one, well, it's called a bonus. Ten. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Up. Uh, woo. Last one. Back row. Bites up. Squeeze. And twelve. Shake those legs out. Hey, let's go. We got another set of those. I'm going to readjust my chair just so <clears throat> I don't end up falling. Upright, belly in, ready? Bring it down, back row, up. Bicep, flex it. Two. Three. Three. Three, here's your option. Say look, four, four, and lift. And four, you can put your leg down, it don't matter to us. Five. 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 So, put your leg up, put your leg down, it's okay. Up. Six. Seven. Up. Eight. Up. Nine. Oops, 
Actually, my bad. Nine, ten, bicep, hammer. Two more. Uh, uh, uh. Last one. And 12. Holy schmoly. That feels good, right? All right, hey. So, you guys will be thankful. Are you ready? Let's go. You're on your opposite leg. Back row bicep. Now, let's come up, squeeze here. One. Remember when I told you we were going to do a 60 thing because I turned 60 last month. So, don't think I forgot about that. Up. Watch your lower back. Make sure you're holding those core tight. Remember that key go whoopsie. Sorry. Did it backwards again. Nine. That's okay. I made up for it. I'm on the right number. Nine. Ten. Up. Sweet. Two more. Last one. Nice job. Hang in there. And 12. Shake it out. Shake it out. All right, so look. I am only going to do two sets of that. I'll make up for it because that's a lot of lower back involved in that. The next three exercises, we're going to go into a sideline plank. Get your mat out or... Um, if you don't need it, don't worry about it. You'll need your mat. You're going to also use your band, and it's a single, because I need you to be able to, to pull it. If it's a double, it, and you need it to be double because it's too easy, cool. Just remember, you want to have right here. So I want to line up, and I want tension right here. So I'm going to do a side, a, side, a back row. But I'm going to lift this and go into a side plank. So my elbow and my forearm, my elbows directly under my shoulder. Are you ready? Let's go. So here's option one. Option two is right here. Ready? Pull. Two. Keep that hip high. If that's too easy, move your butt backwards. Come back here. If it's too hard and you can't move all the way back then move your butt forward lift ten five four three two and hold it squeeze lift two three four five six seven eight nine and ten set it down good hey i'm just gonna hold this like this just because I don't want to have to go back and get it. All right, so watch. Your leg can be here. I'm going right into your thigh. Now, my leg never going to touch the floor again. Up two, three, down two, three. Here's option one. Now, option two is a little harder because if I bring that leg forward and I move this bottom leg backwards and lift, I feel that more here. Lift. Up. Now, I want my neck neutral. I want your neck neutral too. Nine. Bring it up, hold ten. Bring it up, hold one, two, three, four. Bring it up, hold two, two, three, four. Bring it up, hold three, two, three, four. Bring it up, hold four, two, three, four. Bring it up, hold five, two, three, four. And down. Nice job. So look, let's come back this way. Switch sides.
I have to remember to go get a dang mat from the club, right? All right. So, so your option, side plank right here on one, two, both feet down. Pull, ready? Let's go. Pull. One, two. Now your elbow should be right underneath that shoulder. Pull back. Now this is a little easy for me. I can just choke up like that. Just grab it farther up on that band, right? Work it. Oopsie, you caught me cheating. Get your hip up. Stack them. Relax your neck. Keep that neck lengthened. 11, 12, 13, 14. Hold it. 15. Now lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You should feel that oblique on the bottom working. 3, 2, and hold. And set it down. Nice job. Now, remember, option one, option two. Move that leg back. Ready? Lift. One, two. Don't let it touch the ground. Three. Get it up. Now, if you have ankle weights, hey, put your ankle weights on. You can use that like the next time you go to do this workout because I know you're going to want to do it again. At least that's what I hope you want to do. Up. Two more. And hold it, hold it, squeeze, lift it. Three, two, and hold, and bring it back down. Beautiful, hey. Right here. All I'm gonna do is hold this. I'm gonna plank. I'm gonna draw my shoulders down, lengthen. We're gonna do alternating hip drops. One, two, three, four, and four, and five. Seven. You can go slower. Eight. Nine. Oh. Three. Watch your back. And one and done. Oh yeah. Here we go. Back to the side. Ready. Option one or option two. Stack your feet if you want to make it harder. Ready? Here we go. Pull. Now, two. Actually, this is a little loose for me. Three. But, four. You can choke up on it. Like that. Eight. Nine. Keep your hips stacked. Relax your neck. Twelve. Get it up. Fourteen. Hold it, hold it, lift it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, come on, 4. And, oh yeah, beautiful. Hey, here we go. Oh, my bad. Every five. I'm just in such a hurry to get to that other side. All right, here we go. I'm going option two. You can do this one. It's a little easier. And up two, two, down two, three. Four, five, six. Now, if that's too easy and you don't have leg weights, hey, bring it up and hold. Eight, two, three, four. Just do less of them, hold it longer. Ten, five. Move that leg backwards. Four. As you get tired, your leg's going to move forward like that. Get it back here. Last one. Hold it up. Hold it. Small lift. Ten. Nine, eight, four, three, two, hold it, hold it. You're leading with your heel, not your toe. And bring it down. Nice job. Here we go. Flip it around. I'm going to go ahead and choke it up. Ready, lift. Go to one, go to whatever level you want. Let's go, start. One, two. My hips are tight, they're stacked. Eight. Nine. Ten. Lift that hip. Three. Two. Hold it, hold it, lift. Ten. 
Now you don't have to do hip drops, those alternating hip drops. Hey, maybe you just want to hold the plank and maybe your plank is off your knees. Like here, I don't care. Let's go, shoulders back, hold. Now drop it. One, two, four, four. Now the crown of my head is going towards that wall. Last five. Four. Two. One. And done. All right. Hey, last set. Let's go. Side plank. Get in your position. Ready? And lift and go. Pull. One. Two. Get your hip up. I'm choking up. Four, five, six, seven. Keep that hip up. Eight, pull your abs in. Nine, ten, five, four, three, two, four, and one. Now lift. Ten, nine, eight, five, four, three. Two, and one, or oh, sit it down. Shoot, those are cool. All right, here we go. All right, so, I, you know how I love chocolate, right? So, I'm gonna buy it, and I'm dropping it off for the grandkids, because I can tend to be weak sometimes, or I justify, you know, like I deserve it, that kind of shit, or stuff. <laughs> Up, eight, come on. Keep your toes straight or slightly pointed down, not up though. Because then your quads are going to help out. I'm going to say this is like 11. It could have been 12, 13, but you'll never know until we rewatch this and then count it again. Hey, one more. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Small lifts. Hey, it's our last set. What? Now, hey, let's finish this off. Come on, look. Up, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it, squeeze it higher. Get up, hold it, hold it, hold it. Four, hold it, three, two, and nice job. Yay, yay. All right, flip her around, and here we go. How you feeling out there? I hope you're feeling great. I am. All right. Ready? And go. One, two. Now, notice how I'm not pulling up here. Pulling. So up to my waist level, right? Or my hip. Pull that shoulder down. Get your hips higher. Eight. Nine. Lengthen that neck. Ten. Four. Three. Two. Hold it, hold it. Lift. Go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Left. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, yeah. Lay down, inner thigh. Option two or one. Get yours. Ready? Lift that leg up. Hold two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Listen. Right about now, you guys should all be slightly somewhat very, somewhat challenged to very challenged or, you know, challenged. I don't want you uncomfortable, but dang it, let's work this, right? Now lift. You make this work out as hard as you want. You can make it as easy as you want. I'm not in front of you. If you want something like that and you want to do our virtual training, we got that too. Hold it, hold it, get it up there, hold it, squeeze it, hold it, hold it, eight, hold seven, elongate, push your heel off, squeeze it. Come on, four, three, two, and nice job, bring it down. All right, hey, last set of plank or hip drops. Then we're going into our last segment. Round three, here we go. Now, I pull my shoulders back and I tuck my waist in, I'm holding. 
Are you ready? Stay here or drop it. two groups out of the way. We're on our last, on the uh, last group. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to want one weight and you're going to want either your paper plates. I'm going to use uh, cloths today, just little washcloths because my heels are going to be on them. That's it. I love paper plates. You know, I like these. I like doing them on my arms. We got some time, we'll get into all of those fun things. Okay, so first one is going to look like this. What I'm going to do, I'll hold the weight here. When I roll down to protect your back, always bring one leg up at a time. So you're going to come back here like this, and you're going to do a pullover. Lift, push. Ready? Let's go. One, out, two, three. Now, Watch your lower back. Your lower back should be always pretty much sucked down to the floor. Pull over eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, leg curls. Put your heels, I'm gonna slide this mat up towards my backside. That way I can get full range of motion. I wanna be able to pull those legs up. So I'm gonna come here. Now watch, belly in. I'm gonna use my hands for leverage a little bit to cheat, but I wanna show you this. You're gonna lift. Now pull those legs in. One, two, three, four, Five, two, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you should really felt those hamstrings working right there. You've got to focus on tightening them. Lift your butt cheeks, go into that bridge, that hip lift. All right, let's go. Set it down. We're back to pullovers. Roll it back. Legs up. Ready and one, two, three, four, five. Now, six. Instead of lifting my neck, I'm feeling that in my neck. So, eight, nine, so I'm gonna leave my head down. 10, 11, 12, come on, squeeze. 13, 14, and 15. Set it down. Find your plates. Heels, heels on it, ready? Lift. Ready, curl it, push it out. Up, one, keep your butt high, two, Squeeze those hamstrings. Four. Five. So when I come up, 
I'm doing a little reverse curl crunch. I'm lifting those hips. Eight. So as I pull over, nine, I focus on squeezing my back, my abs. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Beautiful. Four. All right. Get your heels on there. All right, here we go, ready, lift. Ah, one, two, come on, now squeeze three, four, five, six. I'm really dragging those heels into the floor. Eight, so I get those hamstrings working. Nine, 10, five, oh, three, holy shit. And one, four. Hey, let's stay up right here. It's our last set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up right here. I'm gonna kick those out of the way so my feet are on the floor. So you're right here. Your knees and your feet are about hip width apart. Small lifts. 10, nine, eight, seven, squeeze six. Here's five, here's four, here's three, here's two. Hold it in, hold it. Now squeeze your legs together. Ten, nine, eight. Keep the weight on your heels. Squeeze that butt. Five, four, three, two. Hold it in, squeeze your knees together. Keep it tight. Now down and up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, go, three. Squeeze your legs. Hold it, hold it. Small lifts. Ten, nine, eight. You should not feel this in your back. Booty. Booty and the little hamstring. What? Okay. Four, three, two. Hold it, hold it. Bring it out. Squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it. Are you there? Are you sure? If you're not, do another set of 10. If you are, roll your back down. Each vertebrae roll is done separately. I'm going to bring my knee in one leg at a time. Bring it in and hold. Nice stretch roll. So, that's just a quick little 45 minute or so, something like that. Uh, PHA. We can make that harder. You can add another set. Right? Beautiful. Let's put that leg down. Stretch it. I want you to hold that leg straight up. Pull your toe towards your nose. Push that heel up. You should feel the stretch from your butt cheek all the way to your ankle. Ooh, I'm going to circle that around. Another way. Well, we sure took a good Friday and made it a great one so far, right? And if you're doing this on any other day, it's going to make it great too. Hold that. There's that nice hamstring stretch right here. All the way to here. Nice moderate medium stretch here. Bring it in. Let's cradle it in. Hold. This is one. Or you could cross it. And here's, here's another way that you could do that same figure four stretch. And I just push that knee out. And I got to leg this hand here. Nice. Put this foot down, grab, bring that leg back, and I just want you to push your hip forward. Tighten up your butt cheek so you open up your quad and your hip right there. If your leg don't go back that far, who cares? As long as that stretch is moderate or you want a mild stretch, you just don't want to overstretch where it hurts. Four, three, just watch your knees too and bring it in. Now watch. To transition, I tuck it back in, roll that down, set it down, my back protected. Switching legs, right here. Pull that toe forward slow. Now, this is the leg that I tore that hamstring on. So you might notice a little difference in the flexibility on this side. So, I, I need to work it. But, isn't that something? We all need to work something, don't we? 
hold that push keep squeezing if i flex here flex my quad keep that leg straight i'm going to feel that open up a little bit more nice job go to that figure four either here here like this or bring that leg up grab behind it and push out hold I'm always open for suggestions. If you want me to do a workout, something, or you have a question, or, you know, gosh, hey, let me know. I will uh, do the best I can at trying to do what I can for all of you, okay? For anyone. Um, oh, it feels so good. Bring that down. Let's go ahead. Go this way. Cradle it. Another. Uh, thing that we would like you to do is share our videos have watch parties with your friends you know let them get in on it uh, but please ask them to go to our website um, and pre-register as an online user that'll release my my liability that'll give me a liability release if we see people on there and they haven't done that we will take them off so that they're not able to do that it's just something if we were doing this for free please just uh protect us too. We, we're trying to protect you, so please uh, sign our liability. Go to our, our website, fill the online uh, new registration user. That's all you do. You don't buy nothing. You're, you're set and I'm set. I feel comfortable. Beautiful. I'm going to stay right here, push myself in, and let's go here. Shake the legs out, bring it across. Um, yeah, so we really would like you to share our videos. I have... Um, I've had a YouTube station for quite some time and uh, it has a lot of my older videos. I was doing a lot of work with uh, Eat Smart, Work Out Hard with uh, uh, Tony Williams and so there's some old videos on there, some funny ones. Um, so I will be putting some of this new stuff on there and, um, and we're going to have talks. I'm going to get into the, my Ditch the Diet program more, especially because I think that, you know, we're, we're a lot of times we eat out of boredom and you know my thoughts about dieting you know it's it's not it's not going to it's a short-term fix and we want something that's a lifestyle change so fitness this is a lifestyle change me having chocolate hmm, now and then that's cool but if, if i have that piece of chocolate i can't have that piece of cake too so you've got to pick your battles. I always say that. So we'll talk more about that because it's not about dieting. It's about making better choices more often than not. And we'll, as I said, I want to get into that. Shake those legs out. Hope you guys had fun. I'm going to go ahead, bring this around here. Drop. Turn. I'm putting all these stretches together for you. Beautiful. Switch it. Pull it in. Good. Drop. I drop that shoulder down, and then I'm going to drop my chin to my shoulder. Beautiful. Roll it back. Hey, nice deep breath in and out. One more time. Nice deep breath. Fill it up in and out. And thank you so much. Have a wonderful day or an evening. Uh, next week announcement. Uh, okay, so... Um, I've got uh, on Monday, Monday I'm going to do a PHA peripheral heart action push movement. So we'd be doing chest and a lot of triceps and shoulder stuff. So that's on Monday at 9. On Wednesday, I am going to do cardio kickbox. I hope to goodness everything's good. If not, hey, I'll fake it and do and just hang in there and, and give you guys that workout. Uh, I may not go through all the movements, but I'll get you started. I'll make you sweat, I promise. And... Uh, Friday. Friday is going to be hit. It's going to be hit it. You know, my high intensity interval training and it's going to be it. That means everything. So be ready for that one too. Um, hey, stay safe, be safe, be strong and, uh, and believe, enjoy your families because eventually we're going to be back to work and we're not going to get this time off. So we've always got to look at this as a positive. I love you guys and I'll see you Monday. Oh.